Now, for the last couple of weeks, I have done confirmed transfer episodes, okay? But this week, we just haven't had enough confirmed ones. So today, what I'm bringing you is confirmed rumors, all right? So this is going to be... Let me just explain this very briefly before we get into the video because there could be a bit of confusion here. Now, when I do just a rumor episode, no. These articles are just, you know, making rumors up or whatever. There'd be a few journalists just saying this or saying that. You know, the, the rumors may not be that concrete. But today, we've actually got very concrete confirmed rumors, okay? Of what will happen or what is definitely going to happen. Okay, or something like that. Okay, it's very concrete today. Now, as always, I'd massively appreciate a thumbs up and liking this video so far. You know, obviously, the transfer series does pretty well on my channel. Can't wait to be streaming some FIFA here soon. That's going to be pretty decent. Can't wait to do that. Been long overdue since I've done, uh, you know, just pure FIFA streams and stuff. Yeah, I've done a few squad builders and squad builder showdowns and stuff recently. But yeah, you know, bring back a bit of old school FIFA, maybe retro stuff. Now, the confirmed bit of news for the summer is obviously Michael Keane is going to be leaving Burnley. That is confirmed. Sky Sports News have confirmed this. They've tweeted it. They're it's gone pretty viral. Now, ironically, you know, one of the big talking points here is obviously Burnley played Manchester United today. They lost 2-0. Now, obviously, before the game, if you watched it, Jimmy Carragher was saying that he shouldn't go back to Man United because obviously he's going to leave. We know he's going to leave. Now, of course, a lot of clubs are going to be interested in his youngster. He's had a pretty good season at Burnley. Obviously, Man United have been one of the clubs interested in him. We know he's going to leave. Which club would he go to? That's the, one of the biggest question marks for the summer. Now, let's take a look at what this, obviously, journalist is saying, okay? This is very, very complicated, okay? So, listen up to what I'm going to say. Well, it's not that complicated. But anyway, Louis Van Hal Michael Keane for £3 million in 2015 with a 25% buyback clause. So whatever value he is or whatever price he's worth or whatever his contract or whatever his buyout clause is, we get 25% less than any other club, which is pretty decent. If Man United do want to sign in, then they can get him back cheaper than anyone else. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. But the second player is a very interesting one, one that you are all well aware of because this has been going about for a while now, but it's just it's spiced up a little bit, right? Diego Costa to China, ladies and gents. That's right. Now this is confirmed that the Chinese club are going to be trying to sign him when the obviously Chinese transfer window opens up again. They're going to try and sign him. That is definitely confirmed. Sky Sports News have announced that. Well, actually, it was the club's owner who's confirmed he's going to try and sign Diego Costa. So, yeah, will Costa leave Chelsea? We'll have to wait and see for that one. Now, Conte's actually come out and he's talked about fresh speculation with Diego Costa. He's actually laughed it off a little bit. Strike has two years left on his current Chelsea contract. Obviously, he could win the Premier League this year. Could be a nice little way out for him, you know, if he does leave, he wins the Premier League. So, yeah, obviously, Conte's tried to, like, you know, rubbish off the rumours and stuff. He wants everyone to concentrate on this season. He wants everyone to concentrate on winning the title. So we just rubbished it and didn't really want to talk about it too much. The main thing he said was, you know, he wants to be focused. He wants to focus on the present and stuff and he wants Costa to still bang goals. But would you say his form's dipped since his Chinese stuff has come about? I don't know. Leave that in the comment section down below. Now the third one is going to be a very interesting. It could be quite controversial because some of you might say, this isn't that concrete compared to the previous two, but I think it potentially could be. Now potentially, Lewandowski uh, to Real Madrid. Now we know there's interest probably there. We know that Real Madrid are probably going to lose a few players in the summer. We know a few are going to leave. Benzema's looking to leave. We know they're going to need to sign a striker. That's pretty obvious. Now, Gillian, who's a journalist, he works for Sky Sports. He's very, you know, he's very well represented in Spain and stuff. He knows a lot of people, a lot of connections. Yeah, he works for Spain. I've actually met this guy as well. Now, we know that, obviously, there's loads of pictures of Ramos and Ronaldo talking to Lewandowski after, the, obviously, the Champions League game last week. Now, we know there's lots of speculation behind Ronaldo and Ramos actually asking Lewandowski to join Real Madrid in the summer. Apparently, not. Apparently that's what they've asked him. Now, Gilliam actually come out and said this, okay? They both told him of their admiration for him and asked him to join Real Madrid and told him there was space for him at the Bernabeu. Apparently, Lewandowski is a huge Real Madrid fan. His sister gave him a Real Madrid shirt as a gift in December 2015 as it's his dream to play for the club. This is coming from this guy. So I think that's very interesting. We know there's going to be interest there. We know that Real Madrid are going to, they're going to want to sign a player like Lewandowski and we know that he, he is a bit of a Real Madrid fan or whatever. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have got Sacco. Okay, now obviously, this looking like a, a this is not a, like a, a transfer the shot you. so I'm not going to talk about it for too long so yes obviously he's owned by Liverpool he's on loan at Bristol Palace now he's come out and said there's no future at him at Liverpool so he's got to get a permanent move away so it's definitely going to happen the transfer is definitely going to happen whether it be Crystal Palace or not we'll have to wait and see but what we do know is that Sam Allardyce has confirmed he's trying to sort a permanent deal to get Saka wasn't it proven recently that obviously when he was banned from Liverpool for taking them some sort of like slimming drug or something like that it was it was actually it was proved that he shouldn't have been banned and aren't they looking for a compensation or something? So yeah, that's going to happen. He said, he's a quite said there's no room for him at Liverpool anymore. Sam Allardyce is going to try and sign him on a permanent. It didn't make sense. It does make sense. Now last but not least, two players, the okay, that have gone to Granada on a bit of a trial. Now they haven't succeeded, okay? They, they didn't, it hasn't succeeded to me. So they're not going to be offered a new deal right now. Well, I'm not going to be offered any sort of deal right now because of cash flow issues, I believe, at the club. But what I can tell you is Nigel Rio Coca and Kieran Richardson to be offered Granada deals in the summer. Coming from Tony Adams, the manager. 
manager. So, yep, yeah, we've confirmed that it, obviously Tony Adams is going to offer him a contract in the summer, but we have, unfortunately, they can't take him now. They've had him on trial recently, but they can't take him right now. And it says here on Sky Sports News, due to cash flow problems, exactly what I said earlier, exactly what I expected. This is what Tony Adams actually told Sky Sports News. They have both been brilliant. I would really like to take them and we'll be offering them deals for next season. Huge news. Huge news for two, like, you know, one experienced players. They've been about in the game for years now to get offered deals again. You know, obviously, I guess at that age, it's quite hard to get deals. Sky sources understand that La Liga have rejected the club's request to register the players due to outstanding financial issues. But yes, guys, these are like six players that I think are confirmed. You know, news about, to be honest, it's very weird. Uh, I'm probably not wearing that the best way for this summer. What I mean, what I mean by confirmed is Michael King confirmed to leave. Diego Costa confirmed the Chinese club want to sign him coming from the owner. Now, it's confirmed that Ramos and Ronaldo spoke to Lewandowski. Uh, so, and obviously, Sky Sports journalists are saying that there's more to this. Sacco confirmed going to be leaving Liverpool. That's pretty much done deal. Nigel Rokoka, Aaron Kieran Richardson to be offered contracts in the summer for next season. Anyway, guys, have a good Sunday. Take it easy. Drop a like and a thumbs down below. Peace.